But he also went to the cross, as you know. And he died on the cross. He took the death sentence that was meant for sin upon himself. And he suffered on the cross. And he died in the place of those who would put their trust in him. So that as we've already read in John 3.16, they would not perish. That is, they would not be cast into that fire forever and ever. But they would have eternal life. They would be brought safely to heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, the Bible says that we are the ones who rebelled against God. It was man that disobeyed God and fell into sin. And so the one who would make this payment for us had to be man. The Son of God becomes a man to take our place so that he might save us. The Bible says the debt that we owe to God's justice was, was greater than anyone could pay. I mean, we already saw that to pay for those sins means to suffer in hell forever. Well, the one then who had to make that payment for us, I should say the one who did make the payment, had to be infinitely great so that he could pay that debt. Well, that's exactly what Jesus is. He is the Son of God who is infinitely worthy, who became a man to pay the payment that we owed and to do it with such value that it could wipe out our debt and the debt of really countless people. The payment that he made is enough. 